Hey, welcome back to the Infinite Gourmet Cooking Show. Today I'm going to show you one of my family's favorites. A barbecue bacon beef bomb served with a twice baked potato. First we'll start by preheating our oven to 350 degrees. And as that's heating up, we'll wash, scrub, and dry off our potatoes as I've already done. We'll then place them on a foil lined baking sheet, pierce both sides a few times with a fork, coat them with a little canola oil, Sprinkle them with salt, then place them on the middle rack of our oven for one hour. So now that we have our potatoes baking, we're going to prepare the ingredients for the filling of our baked potatoes and also assembling our barbecue bacon beef bomb. I got a pan set to medium heat. So for the potatoes, we're gonna slice up four strips of bacon, chop four green onions, and grate one cup of marble cheese. And we're gonna place that off to the side until we're ready for it. All right, now for the bomb. We've already grated up the cheese we need for it. So what we need to do now is just dice up a small onion and chop up a quarter cup of parsley. I have the bulbs of my green onions from the garden. I'm just gonna use those up to be the equivalent of my small onion. chopping, dicing, and grating out of the way. We're now we're going to combine our ingredients into our beef. So we're going to place roughly about two pounds of lean ground beef into a decent sized bowl and add three cloves of garlic, our onion, our parsley, one large egg, quarter cup of breadcrumbs, and a good pinch of salt and pepper. We'll mix that up real good and set that off to the side until we're ready. start by creating a weave pattern with our bacon. Let's place six pieces of bacon onto our tinfoil on our work surface vertically just like this. We're going to start at the top. What we want to do is pull back every second strip like so. We're going to take another strip of bacon, place that over the ends like that, and just bring these back over top. 
Then what we want to do is do alternate sides. We want to pull this back, pull the second one back, and pull that one back as well. I'm going to slide in another piece horizontally. Pull our strips back over top. continue from there. So now that we've created our bacon, we will sprinkle some freshly cracked pepper over that. We'll then take our beef mixture, place it on our bacon, flatten it down, and then spread it over some homemade barbecue sauce, or you can use any, whatever barbecue sauce that you prefer. Sprinkle over our cheese, then we'll roll that up real tight, place that on a baking sheet, and set that off to the side. Potatoes are done baking. What we want to do next is get them out of the oven, get them off the baking sheet, and put them on a cooling rack. Let them cool for about 10 to 15 minutes, and in that time as well, we can pop our barbecue bacon beef bomb into the oven at 350 degrees for a half hour. Now that our potatoes have cooled down a bit, we want to slice them in half long ways. We'll scoop out the flesh into a mixing bowl, place our skins back onto the foil lined baking tray. We'll then combine a half a cup of sour cream, a quarter cup of cream, two tablespoons of butter, half the cheese and half the green onions we prepared earlier. We're going to pop the whisk on our mixer. We're going to whip that up until it's creamy and smooth. Beautiful. Now that our filling is ready, we're going to scoop the filling into our skins, cover them with the remainder of our cheese, green onions, and bacon, set that off to the side until our barbecue bacon beef bombs are finished. Now that our barbecue bacon beef bomb has been in for about a half hour, we're going to go get in there. We're going to peel back that foil and start basting it with some barbecue sauce. Then we'll pop it back in the oven again for another half hour as we baste every 10 minutes. Okay, our bacon bomb is ready. We're gonna pull that out of the oven, let it rest. And while it's resting, we're gonna pop our potatoes back into the oven for 15 minutes. And once those are done, we're ready to plate and eat.
there you have it. Barbecue bacon beef bomb served with a twice baked potato. If you like what you've seen today, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Also, leave me a comment down below. Let me know if I could cook for you anything specifically. Also, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook to keep up to date with all the Internet Gourmet Cooking Show. Till next time, keep on cooking.